Hi everyone, Toby here. Welcome to my channel, That Houseplant Guy. Uh, today, actually, I want to give a bit of an update on plants that I have talked about in previous videos that I have showcased uh, under different conditions. Some are showcased because I struggled with them, others are showcased simply because I wanted to talk about a genus, others are showcased because I, I actually uh, had the feeling they were very high, high maintenance and that's something that, that I was struggling with a bit. So simply different plants that I had, um, that I showed in videos before, um, just simply want to give an update on how they are doing, which one I still have, which one maybe I don't have any longer, um, which one might have been added or have been propagated. So I simply want to show that a bit. So um, I thought the easiest way is actually to, to simply bring you to the plant, not the plant to you in this case, um, because I have them actually spread out all over my flat. So I will simply move the camera with me, do a little plant tour basically through those plants or some of those plants that I showed before, giving you an update on how they look. So let's do that. So guys, welcome to this little, a bit different plant tour, I would say. Uh, the first one I want to start with, which probably is the biggest change here, uh, because you basically cannot see it actually. I'm not meeting the one in the background, I'm meeting this one here, which used to be my Begonia mac maculata, as you <laughs> probably no longer can see. That was the plant that was in here. As you can see it actually until now or by now it lost all of its leaves so there's not a single leaf left. Uh, it really started, I, I realized then um, shortly after actually I did the video that all the stems actually turned brown so the stems started to die and that's why it lost all of the leaves. Uh, probably it was some watering issue, I'm not sure if I overwatered or underwatered. I think it might also have been the humidity that it was missing even though as you can see here next to the Calathea that's still doing pretty well. Uh, actually a lot of new foliage on that one. I thought this one actually has the same needs. Well, didn't turn out the way I expected. But something I did before it completely died is actually take a little propagation of it. As you can see, one sole leaf actually with a second one maybe coming in. I'm not sure if that one survived the propagation. I simply had to do it at this point because it was really, I think, the last leaf left the last healthy leaf left that was not actually yet already starting to deteriorate. And as you maybe can see, actually it's getting already a little tiny little root here. I hope you can see that. So I do have hopes that this one maybe will start to, to pick up uh, to actually establish a good root system. What I plan with this one is definitely to keep it a long time now here in water because I definitely haven't figured that one out in soil yet. So we'll keep it in water, see how it's doing there. And yes, definitely that's something I will keep doing with that one. I said like before with this one, I do not want to put too much effort into it because it was really starting to irritate me, this plant, and to stress me out. So uh, definitely this one I'm giving a chance now. This one I basically think is dead on the, up at this point. So I will probably throw out this one. As you can see, one of the stems is still a bit green. So maybe I cut it back to the green part, see if something comes from that. If not, then this one unfortunately has to well, leave this flat in the trash basically. But as I said, I saved this little leaf here. It seems to start to establish a root system. Maybe this will work. So welcome to another spot here um, with another plant that I showed also in a very, very early video, I would say. Uh, it's my Alocasia poly. Um, I, when I showed this one, actually I said like uh, until now, mine is doing actually really, really well. It's quite healthy. I know that a lot of people struggle with this one and as giving you a little update and coming a bit lower here you can see mine has started to struggle a bit. As you can see the oldest leaf here is definitely dying back. Is about to fall off actually. Um, something that I read about these ones a lot is that the, the old leaves will start to die back sooner or later. I uh, normally think when it shoots out a new one, in this case actually it started to die back and after the new one actually shot out, so I'm not quite sure if that is actually linked to it. Uh, it could also be now in fall, almost early winter, that simply the oldest one gave up basically. It actually happened over a period of one week I would say, so it actually took its time to die back. Um, still not completely finished with doing that, so I will definitely wait till this one falls off by itself. Um, the rest of the plant still looks very healthy. Um, I, I actually watered this, not with distilled water as, as recommended, but simply with tap water. Until now the tips actually don't seem too crunchy, also the sides don't seem too crunchy. Um, I will keep you updated on this one, but definitely as you can see here, the, the newest leaf, I really enjoy the foliage. Still looking very healthy, so 
Um, I'm still on the fence about this one a bit, so I'm, I'm actually not struggling with it, but um, I'm also not completely feeling safe on this one. I feel like this one can surprise me any minute, basically. So let's see how this one keep, will keep doing. So welcome to the next one, which is actually my Croton. I showed you also this one in the, the houseplants I'm currently struggling with. And as you can see, I am still struggling with it. Uh, actually, the leaves now start to get very crispy, uh, falling off. Uh, I really don't know why. Uh, I try to keep the humidity up, but I think maybe it's a bit too late with this one. As I said, I'm, I'm not too sad about this one because basically the way I bought it was this tiny little plug with a couple of leaves on it. Um, I actually regret that I didn't get a bigger version right away. That probably would have done better because it simply would have been a more established plant already. This one seemed very, very uh, unstable from the beginning. Um, definitely it didn't do well for me in my house. Um, so yes, I keep this one alive. I mean, I water it, of course, but um, to this point, I'm not sure if this one actually is going to make it through the winter. I did read that some of these crotons through winter go through something like this uh, again and again, that they really get like crunchy leaves, that a lot of the leaves fall off. Come spring, then they bounce back. So I will definitely see how this one will do then when spring arrives. But until then, Let's see if it survives until then, actually, because still a long way to go until spring, definitely. But we will see. Um, so one more update, actually a quite quite negative update. Wait, let me get over this one little enjoy pothos leaf out of the way that is also dying back a bit. But that's normal for my, my pothos, to be honest, just to show you. Still doing st strong, just always in autumn getting some yellow leaves. But actually, it is about my uh, little rubber plant. I think it's a ficus tenniki, actually, which I got a bigger one um, now. Uh, one reason of that for that was actually because this one started to lose almost all of its leaves. One is back, uh, still here. Uh, also, starting with fall, this one started to lose a lot of leaves. I'm actually not sure why it started doing that. Um, I think it is probably maybe missing humidity and also then the cold that started to set in, um, even though normally uh, for most of my plants, that doesn't seem to be a problem uh, that fast, especially. Um, so this one died back to one leaf. This one leaf is still hanging on strongly. So uh, as I had this problem with rubber plants before, I will keep watching that one. But again, the struggle with rubber plants is definitely real for me. <laughs> so, and to end this tour on something more positive, uh, here my little Monstera Deliciosa, which is actually at a stage where it doesn't have any split leaves layered. Um, what I can report on this one is that it's actually still doing uh, astoundingly well. As you might have seen in my previous videos, I had one Monstera Deliciosa that unfortunately died. Um, I think I actually overwatered that one and it really didn't do well at uh, the moment I brought it into my house, basically. This one now I have for over a month, almost, I think, uh, and it hasn't lost a leaf at this point. It's actually, I think, gained one of the smaller leaves down here. So it's definitely doing something, it's stable, it's not dying back or anything. So I'm really happy with this one. Gonna keep you updated, especially when the first split leaf will set in on this one. But until then, I'm really happy with this one. I, I fight the urge to water it too much <laughs> successfully until now. So hopefully this will also stay the case. But I think I think this one actually will do now, will do well now. It also seems to not be too faced by winter now, or the onset of winter, so definitely something that that I'm happy with, um, seems healthy. As you can see now, it's actually that I have to clean the leaves a bit, but that's all there is to it. So definitely, definitely really happy that this one is going so strong until now. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this little update. I know maybe maybe some surprising things in there. Uh, a lot of the plants actually that I didn't show um, in this video is basically the reason. The reason why is because they still look more or less the same, maybe some new growth, but they are still doing very well, are quite stable. So actually there was not much of an update there. So of course then I won't, I won't bore you with those plants. I only showed you the ones where actually there have been some bigger changes that I also myself actually realized when, while taking care of those plants. Um, yes, yeah, so basically that was the reason why I showed you these ones. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions to the plants that I showed you, uh, would be, of course, just leave it in the comments. I will come to those and will answer those. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. And if you enjoy this channel, feel free to subscribe. I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.